Should I? <laughs> Should I go against what I know and love? Nope, I'm not gonna do that. So don't offend me and do not give it back to me. I'm not a people pleaser by any means. Honey, I will shut you down in a heartbeat. This is a waste of my time. You can't even... Oh my God. Why do I feel like I'm gonna cry? Okay. I just continue to be reminded that In this video, we are gonna be trying out as many new products as I can. So if you are gonna do makeup with me, then grab your stuff and let's walk through it. I'll talk through what I'm doing and why. And I'll add in some chit chat as well because that's important. Let's catch up a little bit. Okay, first step is to pin back the hair. This is my four by four tried and true situation. Okay, so you know I always begin with priming my lips. I still am making my way through these e.l.f. Cosmetics lip primers. I am so sorry that they are no longer available. I don't know why e.l.f. would do that. I stocked up on these, hence why I'm still making my way through the stash that I have. This is just so good. I love how it makes the lips tacky. It just does what I need it to do. I have an LA Girl lip primer. Because it doesn't perform the same way, I'm not thrilled about it, but does it work? Yeah. So it doesn't dry down and then give me the tackiness that this one does, but it's still a lip primer. I don't do Vaseline and any of that other stuff. To prime the face, I want to use this Fenty Pro Filter Mattifying Primer, but it's not even that hot outside today. Let's do this in the T-zone, because either way, even if it was hot outside, I would have only been using this on my T-zone anyway. So this is a new box. I'm opening this up. This is my first time using this, so if you've used this Fenty Pro Filter Mattifying Primer, let me know. I guess I should be using the Fenty foundation with this, but I'm not going to. You know, normally, these are formulated to work with the accompanying product. In this case, it would be the Pro Filter Foundation, but I'm gonna try a different foundation today. Okay, so this feels like a serum. I think that this would be great for the summertime. Oh, it is drying down to a powder-like form. Is that what it's supposed to do? And I'm sitting in front of the window. So this is natural lighting, no artificial lighting. I've really been into the natural lighting. So if you like this, comment and let me know. Now, let me let this dry a little bit and see what it feels like. Okay, wow, that really did dry out my face. Even my chin, I'm like, wait, is it counteracting with my skincare? Why do I look like... It did dry me out, wow. It's not uncomfortable, but it's clear that my face has been dried out. And you all are very close, so you tell me if you can tell, okay? I've got these Iconic London Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tints. No clue if these are gonna match me at all. I've got Warm Rich and Golden Rich. Warm, it just sounds like it's gonna be red on me. Let me shake it. I hope that this matches. If not, we'll just use a different foundation. But let's just get a little bit and see. You know, I like to go a little dark. Yep, I just feel like this one one is going to work. This is the golden rich shade. What do you think? I actually could make both of them work. <laughs> Ooh, Golden Rich. It's darker. It's got a different undertone. This is darker. This is closer to my skin tone. So let me actually use Warm Rich. This is the Sigma Kabuki. This is from the Cinderella collection. It just, uh, you know, Kabuki is good. Okay, that's the whole point here. Bring this down and let's blend. Now, so far, this is looking good. I've never used this. It's giving perhaps medium courage. It's giving red. It's definitely dark. So this is still dark in the way that I like. Let's see how it covers my brows. That will tell us the level of coverage that this is giving. Now the thing about foundations, skin tints, complexion products, it's gonna look crazy usually when you first put it on. You really gotta blend and get the whole look together and it just makes quite a difference. This is looking very red. Not what I like at all on my face, but if you're not new and you've been here, then you know I'm gonna bring this all together. We're gonna make it work. This feels good though. It feels like a serum. It feels very light. It feels like I put on a skincare product. So that's nice about it. And then I'm tapering off what's on the brush onto my chin area so that there are no lines of demarcation. It's giving medium coverage. You see how my nose is not completely covered, but I'm gonna go over that because I do want that to be covered. Not too much on my eyelid because we are gonna do an eyeshadow look, so no need to bring this over there or whatever. Into the hairline a bit, but even up there, we are tapering. Yeah, it's medium coverage. I can still see some blemishes on my forehead. Not the end of the world, but if you want a medium coverage foundation that feels comfortable, this is 
is definitely a good option, thus far at least. Now, I have already done a video separately on the Sephora Best Skin Ever Concealer, and I forget the shade I use. It's not in this particular makeup kit. I was sent another box from them, and it had this shade in here, 59N. I feel like that's the one I have. This is certainly not light enough to highlight my face. It would barely highlight me, and you know I like to be highlighted. So, <laughs> this is an oldie but goodie, KVD Vegan Beauty. This is TN177. I like this shade a lot. Here's the concealer. If you've used this and love it, comment and let me know. Now you know I love a good reverse highlight underneath the cheek. It just isolates the area where we only have the foundation so it looks like a contour is already in place even though it's not. Love to do that. This I always consider to be an advanced technique because if you're a beginner at makeup, you are going to find that and maybe even the whole entire highlight and contour to be a lot for you. But if you've been doing this and you've been practicing, you've been putting some elbow grease into it, give it a shot because it'll look really, really good. I think when you get it right, obviously. So so what I will contour with is this LYS No Limits Worthy Stick Bronzer. It's called a bronzer stick. This thing is dork. Now it's just so deep. The color is so deep that it's, oh my God, it's just so deep in, in the greatest way. Okay. I think it's called a contour. I think it's called a bronzer. I don't know. It's not actually on the product, so I don't remember. But if you've used this and you've loved this, comment and let me know because I want to know. And to blend down my contour, this is a Sephora 56 brush and let's blend this out, baby. I like to start start with my cheek area. I really should take this wig off because I hate blending my contour with a wig on because you really need to get into the hairline. This is dork, honey. Oh yes, but it's so gorgeous. You really got to get into the hairline. Okay, we're going to push her back a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> We're friends. We're family. Are we not? <laughs> Hi. And the shape of this brush is great because it's small. So it really gets into the places. And then I'm, as you can see, stippling it, pouncing it. And that's how I'm blending it onto my face and then I'm wiping off excess on the paper towel in front of me and going back and doing the same focusing closer to my hairline because when I come into the front of my cheek I don't want there to be too much product I want it to be diffused I just don't want it to be too much like this is a really really deep shade wiping off the product on the paper towel in front of me again and blending some more making sure that there are no harsh lines but we are going to go over the line of demarcation between the concealer and the contour again Again, just to really make sure that this don't look like this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause right now it's looking a little crazy. Okay. Now I'm going to take some of this contour product and contour my nose. Now I'm going to go lightly over some of the product because it's deep in this area. And then we're going to apply it to the nose. So I was just taking some already from a part of my face and applying it elsewhere. Hello, no need to take any more product because number one, this product is very deep already. And then number two, I don't want my contour to be too, too strong. I want to see it. Okay, I like my contour to be obvious, but not too obvious. And I'm even when I'm applying it down the side of my nose, I'm doing it very lightly. Okay, we're not drawing this like we're a sketch artist. Although makeup is artistry, so I feel like I'm a sketch artist anyway. Hello, and this is all going to lighten up and look more seamless once I apply my face powder. So I'm gonna tell you something right now. Okay, so I was planning on doing a giveaway for Christmas. Okay, and I I really ended up doing it, but it turned out in a way that I wasn't expecting for it to turn out. So last year, and I want to say the year before that, I did a giveaway because my birthday is in December and I, I just love Christmas. Christmas just makes me happy. It's my favorite holiday. So see how that line of demarcation blended? Bam, bam. All links to products are below. It just means something to me. It touches my heart. And I remember when I was younger, my family, my mom would take us. So I was a single mom raising us as a single mom. And she would take us to this place. I imagine, I don't even know. It was just this building in Providence. Or, yeah, it was in Providence, Rhode Island, where I'm from. And we would go there to get Christmas gifts. So it just touches my heart when I think about 
coming from a place where this is Fenty Pro Filter 390, where we didn't have money. We didn't have a lot of money. And I know that I'm not the only one on the earth, but being in the position where I am right now, blessed to be able to get whatever I want when I want, right? And just living in abundance, it just touches my soul so much that I think about specifically single moms who are in the same position now that my mom was in many, many years ago. Sephora 79 brush. So for the past two years, I have done some sort of giving away around the holiday season for single moms specifically. And this year I was going to do it again. I was going to make a video and then have entries and then pick several moms. And I was thinking of spending maybe a thousand dollars. I don't know. I was going to just see, you know, that was on my mind. Right. And somehow split it up between several families to be able to spread the love. Right. So that was in my mind and I needed to do the video and I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. So some things came up that made me say, you know what, let me just wait before I do this video. Let me just like, just wait a second. I just felt like I needed to wait, okay? So I never made the video. And then the other day, I got a message from a friend who is a single mom and she was in need and she asked me for the money. And she and I have established a relationship where I told her like, yo, if you need something, don't struggle and suffer alone. Feel free to ask me. And I get the shame that will come with asking someone for something. And I shared this story, was it in my vlog where I have borrowed money time and time again from people. This is the uh, one, one, you here, here, link below, one size high. I get it, like I can make myself approachable to say, hey, if you need something, let me know. But I can, I understand how no matter what you do, certain people just are going to feel uncomfortable and I respect that. Because I've been in positions where money has been lent to me and I have never been hounded like, yo, when are you gonna pay back? When are you gonna have it? I need that dough. When I had a few years of being here in Houston, I borrowed $2,000 from my friend and she's a really good friend of mine and she's was in a very good financial position or and or she's just a great friend so she never asked me for it but I told her when I borrowed it I'm gonna give this back to you by the end of the year honey it was two years before I paid her back and I cannot lie to you every time she and I would talk I always felt uncomfortable I always felt shy I always felt shameful because when that year had come up I hadn't paid her back and I remember just not knowing how to say like yo can I just get it to you when I get it to you because because like I said in my vlog, if I had given her the money, it would have been a huge strain out of what I had going on at that time. So I was like, dang man. And I can't lie, I knew that she was comfortable. So I knew she wasn't needing the money back ASAP and she never ever asked me for it back. So when I finally paid her, I felt so bad. I was like, girl, I know it's been forever. I, you know, I just sent you your money. And she was like, oh girl, don't worry, you know, blah, blah, blah. And you know, we never spoke about it again, right? Great friend. So this is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Camo Rich 610C powder foundation. Whenever someone asks me, my, my makeup is coming together. What do you think? Asks me for money. I already know in my heart that when I give it to you, I am not looking to get this back. I don't want it back. And in fact, because I know how people just in general are, they feel, you might feel bad, you might feel embarrassed, whatever. I'm just like, hey, sent you the money, don't give it back to me. And again, because I know how some people are, I'll be like, if you give this money back to me, I will be offended. So don't offend me and do not give it back to me. This is a blessing that I want to bless you with. And if you give it back to me, you're going to ruin the blessing, right? It's not a blessing to you if I lend you the money and then you give it back. It's supposed to be a blessing that you keep. So fast forward to the Christmas giveaway. My friend reached out to me. Mind you, this is a friend that I met on social three years ago. I've never seen her in person, but we've just been friends online, right? Isn't that so cool? Raise God. So I sent her the money. When I got that message I was like oh this must be the reason why I needed to wait on the giveaway because this is where I should give the money away because I had already felt in my heart I wanted to do the giveaway for a single mom she's a single mom I had already felt in my heart I wanted to do the giveaway now in December it's December I had already felt in my heart I wanted to give away a lot of money this is a lot of money and this was a serious need 
right? This was a serious need that she needed right now, right then. And I was like, boom, okay. I mean, granted, I, I couldn't give it to a viewer who has been dedicated and supporting me online, like, you know, you know, all this time. Like for me, it was just a matter of, God, I want this to get into the hands of someone who needs it. Don't matter who you are. You know, when I bless people, maybe this is a little selfish. I just want to know that you're going to use this. This is actually going to do something for you. This is going to change something for you. This is really going to help you. Then I feel blessed by it. Then I feel like, okay, this feels good because I feel good when I make someone else feel good. I'm not a people pleaser by any means, honey. I will shut you down in a heartbeat. But I do find joy in giving to people. I just love it. I just really, really do. So sent her the money and I was like, and, and I added some to it. And she's like, oh my God, then I didn't even, you know, and I was like, no, 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 it's fine. Like, this is a blessing to you. I pray that it will multiply when you get the money back that you were gonna pay back with. You do what you want to do with it. It's the holiday season, you know, X, Y, and Z. And she's so sweet. Anyway, so I felt good knowing that she was touched. And for me, it's not, oh, Mina has done this. Mina has done that. It's not about me. I don't look for anyone to go stand on a mountain top and say, I am not, you know, I we are my man. She did this for me. She did this for me. That don't do nothing for me. I'm doing this because God has just done so much for me. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush. And I've never used this before. I didn't realize that this blush was so pink. I thought it was more peach. What? This is the blush y'all be loving? It's like a frost. It does have some gold specks in it, but it ain't even showing on me. What? This is a waste of my time. You can't even... This is a MAC, I can't even see it, brush <laughs> from back in the day. What needed to happen, happened. And it just blessed my heart that I felt like I needed to wait and then I did. So I'm just glad that I was obedient, right? And I always say that I don't feel like I hear from God. I don't be knowing. Yo, I just am reminded day in and day out that sometimes it's just a subtle move, a subtle communication, a subtle thing that happens that is God, right? It's not like thunder and lightning coming crashing through the windows where although maybe for some people it is or it has been, it don't be like that for me. Now, sometimes the ish do hit the fan. My God, to day. The ish has hit the fan in my life many a times. Okay. That's a fact. This is the one size cheek clapper 3D blush trio. So I just feel so happy that that happened because I was looking for God to show me how to go about this Christmas giveaway. And it ended up happening in a different way, but in a way that just blesses me so much. This is the NYX micro brow pencil in the color espresso. Being a mom myself, I always think to myself, God, can you imagine if Nini needed, you know, I don't know, uniform for sports, or let's say he needed money for a field trip or a yearbook, or they did just different things that he would need and his school supplies, what have you, right? And then I had to be like, sorry, I don't have it. Or uh, I have to lie or keep on, you can't even see this. <laughs> you know, brushing him off or just being panic, having an upset stomach, being having anxiety because of all the different feels that single moms have when they don't have what, enough of what they need to provide for their child. I think about this all the time and I just, I'm actually watching Transformation Church and, and one of the things he said was, it wasn't him, it wasn't my devotion this morning. Something where no matter what, in every circumstance, no matter who is around, I'm going to praise the Lord. And that is really, really the truth. This is the Morphe Brow Java. So this is not even dark enough. It, it looks different depending on what kind of foundation I have on. So there's nothing, no one, no place that I'll be where I won't give God the glory because I know exactly where I came from. I know exactly the things that I've been through. I know exactly the things that I'm going through right now that God is holding my hand through. I am nothing without Christ. I wouldn't be in this position right now to even dare give someone money and say, you don't need to pay me back. In fact, if you do, I'll be offended. God, what? I got before, I'd be like, when are you gonna pay me back? <laughs> this this eyebrow pencil is not even showing. This is getting my nerves. <laughs> I'm just so grateful. I really am grateful that yet again, I prayed about it. And it wasn't even like a, you know, thunder fire prayer kind of thing. It was just, a, just I just said it like in my heart and I, I may have said it audibly, I can't recall, that I wanted to do this. And then God just made it happen. And I'm just so grateful. So I share this because I want to give glory to God again in everything. You know, like the song says, <laughs> in everything. Was that even the key? I can't. We'll shout all your glory. 
my cold will not let me be great, but we still give God the praise. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't need to be perfect. It don't need to be perfect. Goodness gracious, this is an e.l.f. brow pencil. I don't even know the color. I need to change the brow product in this particular makeup case. I just praise God, you know? Let's finish this makeup because now I feel like I'm rambling. But I wanted to share. Oh, there's another instance too with another friend. And again, I get it, you know? People don't really want to ask. You feel ashamed. You feel nervous. I've been there. Money is good, but I do find that God often challenges me with it to see how open I am with it. And I'm I'm grateful because I know where it came from. I know that it can be taken away. You know what I'm saying? I know that it's not guaranteed. I know all of that. You feel me? So I, I have learned to appreciate these different tests that come my way in the area of money. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Deep Rich Golden Concealer under my brow. I don't go to the ATM often, but I was going to the ATM and I was like, I just feel like I need to give somebody money money. And I didn't, I know your mom must be like, what? Here's my number. Cash out me. No, it ain't that kind of party, honey. You know, that kind of party. Okay. This is very specific. So I have been feeling like I needed to give somebody money and I didn't know who. And I'm like, hmm, okay. And I was feeling like it needed to be cash. Okay. There's more to the story, right? So I had gone to the ATM and I had gotten out a few twenties or something like that. And I had gotten out a hundred dollar bill. I was going to my friend's house and I had the money in my hand and I was planning on giving it when I got in the house, but then she had met me outside. So I was like, oh, okay. And then I felt like, you know what? Now is not the time. Cause I wanted it to be discreet. So I literally crumbled the money back in my hand and then we just got in the car and we left. Boom, okay. So I felt like, okay, I don't think this is what I'm supposed to do. I didn't say a word. Then I remember I was driving and then I pulled over to get some gas. This is like days later, pulled over to get some gas and pump my gas. And there was a car. And again, I'm like, I'm like looking around. Cause I'm like, I feel like I'm supposed to give this hundred dollar bill to somebody. And I just want to know who it is. And I could not really put my finger on who I'm supposed to give it to. Again, at the gas station and I pumped my gas and I saw a, a woman and a man in a car next to me pumping a gas and I felt like is it them maybe it is them right I wasn't sure and this is an assumption I get it but I made the assumption I was like they look like they could be in need although I don't know and I heard when their gas so you know how you you pump gas and then the the thing goes boom and you know that it's done right so it it made that noise for them and this is Laura Mercier, Translucent Honey. And then uh, they were like, $35, just the exact amount or something like that. So in my mind, I took it as they pumped their gas or their gas tank filled up with the exact amount of money that they had on them. So, and, and this all happened so fast, but in my head, I'm like, is it them? Is it them? Should I? Should I just give it to them? Do I just hand it to them? What do I say? How do I do this? And while I'm trying to figure all this out and I heard them, the guy already had gotten in the car. And when I turned, the woman was in the, in the driver's seat. And then she was like, New Orleans, here we come and I was like so flustered and my money wasn't on my in my hand and then by the time I was like is it them they had already pulled off so I was like, Jesus, limb of God, is it supposed to be them? Like, who am I supposed to give this hundred dollars to, right? Ah, <sighs> so I get back in the car and I sat there and I sat there and I sat there. I said, should I just follow after them and what beep the horn, horn them down? and be like, here's the money God told me to give you. I didn't know what to do. Oh my God. Why do I feel like I'm gonna cry? Okay. So they drive off and I'm like, oh my God. They were putting gas in their tank and maybe, and I'm like, maybe that's all they had and they were headed to New Orleans. Oh my God. And I was like, oh my God, maybe I was supposed to give them the money, right? So a few days go by, oh, hold on. So a few days go by and I was talking to my friend, the one whose house I had gone to days ago, right? And we're just talking, talking, talking. And we don't normally talk on the phone too much because I don't be liking all of that. Like I like to talk, okay? But I'm an introvert. Like I just like my peace and quiet, you feel what I'm saying? So I don't, you know, and, and normally when she and I speak, we don't be on the phone for hours because we both got things to do. Listen, when you're grown, like grown, grown, you don't come on. Like what are we doing on the phone for like hours? You know what I'm saying? But literally this day, we were on the phone for maybe two hours. And I was like, this? This is weird, right? I didn't feel like 
I needed to hang up. I felt like we needed to stay on the phone. So we're just talking, life talk, this talk, that, talk, just whatever. So I was gonna use this Tartlet Toasted palette and this is the color Cozy. I did, a, I did a look with this already, but here we are. So, you know, we're chit-chatting, chit-chatting and in the midst of it, we're talking about money and, uh, you know, she shared with me that just, just stuff was rough. And I'm like, oh my God, I had no idea, you know? I'm like, why didn't you say anything? And I'm like, you know, but then again, I understand. Like, I understand the shame that it could feel like. I'm like, oh my God. You, and I told the story about how when I had gone to her house, I was feeling like I needed to give this, but then the way it all worked out, I felt like, okay, let me let me stop. And then I had shared the, it, the situation at the gas station. And then I had shared how we don't know I'm gonna be on the phone like this. And I was even thinking to myself like, uh, hanging up, but then I I, I didn't feel so in pushed to do it. But I was wondering to my, to my heart, like, why are we on the phone still? Like, we never talk on the phone this long, right? And so as we're talking, and like I said, she explained that she was in a bind, you know, like stuff just wasn't really hitting the way it needed, it needed to hit at that time. And I'm like, girl, how much do you need to make things better? And she's crying. And I was doing, I was cooking food and I was just doing my best not to cry, but I wanted to, I, I mean, I felt so, you know, and I'm like, wow, this is it. This is the scenario where I'm supposed to give the money. And it's supposed to be more than that hundred dollars that I had in my hand, right? is quadruple that amount. And this is not the kind of feeling that I had where it was like a very pronounced feeling, but it was a feeling nonetheless. And I'm like, wow, this is the this is the scenario. This is the situation. This is the person that I'm supposed to give the money to. So we're talking and she was sharing her heart with me about how things have been going and so on and so forth. And I'm like, like I said, I asked her, how much would you need to make things right? And when she told me, I just sent the money to her and she cried and I was holding myself back. And I'm like, girl, you know, I had already been feeling like I needed to give money to someone and I just did not know who it was. So, you know, this is not even about me. This is God nudging me to let some money go into the lap of someone else who needs it at this moment. So it just all worked out the way that it needed to work out. Honest to God. And I was just so grateful when I got the phone with her. Oh my God. You know, it just touched my heart so much that I was able to find out who God was pointing me to. And then it just blessed my heart so much that what she had been praying about, praying for somehow, some way to make this situation work, it just all aligned. It all aligned. And I was just so grateful. I was just so grateful. So yet another situation where God just worked it out. So I'm saying all this to remind myself that in the times where I feel like I'm not hearing from God, God, or he's not around or uh, available or oh my god okay times where I feel like my prayers are not being answered I just continue to be reminded that oh should I even do eyeliner I just continue to be reminded that I have learned that uh, when one area is good, one area is bad. When one area is up, one area is down. And what touches me so much is just the lip bar, straight out of patience, eyeliner, is knowing that even though I'm waiting on God to answer prayers for me, he's still doing other things for me. Like I said, up in this area, down in this area, you know? And in all of it, I still give God the glory because he deserves it all, you know? And because on one hand, it's a prayer answered. And on the other hand, I'm still praying. So, you know, I'm not the kind of be like, all of it needs to be great before I give God the glory. No, I'm gonna give him the glory regardless, right? I'm just so grateful that God is still moving. He's still working. He's still speaking. He's still showing. Even if I don't feel like he's speaking and showing me an answer or, you know, a breakthrough in X, area at least he's speaking and showing me answers and a breakthrough in other areas so i'm just so grateful color chalk milk makeup this is a long video if you've been taking around for this long praise god and thank you i really feel purposed when i can give and share with others honestly I don't mean I'm walking around like, take it all, like, hello, come on. But uh, I really do feel purpose when I can give and share with others. It's giving too cool, I want something warm. So I just, I'm gonna mix it with the gold color from this Tartlet palette. I just give God the glory. I, as I was wiping my eyes, there was more I wanted to say, but no, I forgot, girl, I don't even know anymore. This is a long, chill type of video. And I be feeling like I need to rush my videos sometimes because I be like, people ain't gonna sit around for all this time listening to you, but in this particular, particular video I really felt drawn to inclined called to share this 
and that's what I've done. If you have made it this far in this very touching spirit filled video, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right here in this video. I want to do a giveaway. I'm going to pick two people and I'm going to send you an Amazon gift card because it just makes things easier. And hopefully wherever you live, they accept Amazon. If not, barter it. <laughs> give it to somebody and have them give you the cash. This is the TLB, the lip bar, straight out of patience eyeliner again. Okay, so I'm gonna do a giveaway. I just feel so blessed to do it. Because you watched the entire video, don't let people come to the comments and realize that there's a giveaway and then they don't even watch it. That ain't fair to you because you did what? You watched the entire video, praise be. Since I'm mentioning it right now, you're only gonna know the answer to this because you've watched this point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick somebody on the the day that this video launches. Um, I'm gonna pick two people. I'll reach out via Instagram DM and then I'll get your email address from there and then send you the Amazon gift card. For a big by definition mascara. Why don't you just do that? Comment anything about anything that I've talked about, right? Anything you wanna do in your comment and then add on to your comment Sephora mascara. So you could be like, man, that just touched my heart so much, period. Sephora mascara, period, right? It's gonna be like, People are gonna look at it like, why is she saying Sephora mascara? Like, what, what in the world? But this is the part of the video where you would have learned about the giveaway. Duh. And that's how I know you made it this far. Praise God. People are like, what? Giveaway? What you mean? Yeah, watch my videos to the end. Thank you. Set aside time, okay? Praise be. All right, let's just speed through the rest of the video because this has been long and I do appreciate your time. All right, the lip is done. I use the Juvia's Place lip liner and this liquid lipstick from Give Beauty. This is, I'm still here, Tomboy. This is so pretty. I like it. These are a new pair of lashes. They're looking very fluttery. I just did my usual look because I can't lie. I got some content to film after this and I can't be having no bold look going on. I need to, you know, you need a look that's going to be easily recyclable. But anyway, enter the giveaway. I'm excited to be able to share with two winners this holiday season. I mean, you'll be one of many, but in all of it, we give God the absolute glory. I thank you for watching this long video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.